Hello, this is video number four on our how-to series. In this video, you will learn to set up e-tutoring appointments with your consultants and how to attach the necessary documents. First, open your internet browser. We recommend you bookmark the site if you haven't already for easier access. Go to https colon backslash backslash olusa.mywconline.com Use your Lake email address and the password you created to log in. In the next screen, you will see the current week's schedule and availability. Browse through the schedule until you find a day and time you wish to use and double click on the white block. When the new window opens, start by selecting how long your appointment will be. Remember, we offer from 30 minutes up to 90 minutes per day. Select e-tutoring and scroll down. Please provide us the four letter course and number of your class as well as its name. Next, type your professor's name. In the what would you like to work on today box, please provide a detailed description of the assignment and what you would like your consultant to help you with. If there are particular questions you have in mind, include them. This allows the consultant to better prepare for the session. Remember, the more information you give us, the better we can help you. When you are done, click on Save Appointment. In the next pop-up, select the blue link to attach documents. Click on Browse and find the document you wish to attach. Give the document a name, especially if you are attaching more than one document. Notice there is no limit to the number of attachments, so we recommend you include your assignment, as well as a copy of the instructions, guides, or rubrics that your professor provides. When you are done attaching documents, close the window. You will see your appointment appear in the schedule in a different color. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at the Writing Center. Don't forget, the MFD Writing Center has joined various social media. Follow us. We're constantly posting new things for you.